One lawmaker is now saying the State Department is lying about access to Americans wounded in last fall's Benghazi terror attack. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge also tells us tonight about the stunning lack of progress on bringing the terrorists to justice. Nearly four months after Egyptian authorities arrested Abu Ahmed, whose followers are suspected of taking part in the Benghazi terrorist attack, the FBI director was asked whether his agents are getting direct access. Not yet. In addition to obstacles in Libya, Egypt and Tunisia, where the U.S. embassy was nearly overrun three days later, lawmakers were told that U.S. foreign aid to these countries exceeds more than a half billion dollars annually. The very thought that our government will give that foreign aid and not have the FBI being given the access to that individual is unacceptable. In this letter from Republican Susan Collins on the Senate Intelligence Committee, the FBI director is asked to identify the number of suspects and whether any will be extradited to the U.S. for trial. During the House hearing, Mueller acknowledged the Benghazi case faces obstacles from foreign governments. The question is not necessarily the willingness, but the capability, and we are working on that. As I say, the investigation is progressing. In the face of congressional pressure to make the Benghazi survivors available to investigators, the State Department remains noncommittal about access to its own employees. We have been working with the Congress on the Benghazi issue, both houses, many committees, for months and months and months, and we have been very open to all of their requests and transparent with them about the details. The the chairman of the House Government Oversight Committee told Fox News the State Department spokeswoman's claim of cooperation just isn't true. They have not been open and transparent. In fact, even the names of the survivors, uh, so they could be asked if they would appear, uh, have not been provided. In a letter obtained by Fox News and circulated to lawmakers, the uncle of Sean Smith, one of four Americans murdered in Benghazi, says he supports a select committee to investigate because the families deserve the truth, and he wants to take the president at his word that the killers will face justice, Brett. We'll stay on it here. Catherine, thank you. You're